Hello students, welcome back to my channel, Learn Microbiology. We are doing your biochemistry syllabus, unit number 1, Lipid Metabolism and Catabolism of Hydrocarbons. In the previous video, we have covered one topic. Today, in this video, we are going to review certain questions. We are going to solve certain questions and going to find out how much we have learned. So, shall we get started? This questions will be based on the topic number 1 which we have did that is lipids, definition, classification and functions. Before starting, let me tell you about the rules. Here, you will be having 5 questions with 3 options each. Option A, Option B and Option C. You will get 10 seconds to solve one question. What you have to do? Once I will read out the question and the options, the timer will start. So, immediately you have to type the particular option which you feel correct along with the question number in the comment section. Then, after 10 seconds, we will go to the second question and you will be going to do similarly for all the 5 questions. After you write the correct option for all the 5 questions, you have to post that comment along with your name and the name of your college. Fair enough? One more thing. At the end of the video, I will share with you the correct answers as well. So, are you all ready? If not, pause the video. Once you are ready, we will play the video. Okay. Let me start with question number 1. Here is the first question. Which of the following is a saturated fatty acid? Which of the following is a saturated fatty acid? And here are your options. Option A, aliphatic hydrocarbon. Option B, arachidic acid. Option C, oleic acid. And your time starts now. Come on, be quick and time up. I hope you have typed your answer. Let's move to question number 2. Here is your question. Which of the lipid is absent in prokaryotes? Which of the lipid is absent in prokaryotes? Your options, triglycerides, phospholipids, option C, glycolipids. Your time starts now. Come on. Quickly write down the correct option. And the time is up. Let's move to question number 3. Third question. The lipid responsible for photoprotection belongs to which group? The lipid responsible for photoprotection belongs to which group? And your options are A. Simple B. Polyisoprenoids or C. Isoprenoids Your time starts now. And time is up. Let's move to the question number 4. The question is here. Which of the lipid is present in eukaryotes which of the lipid is present in eukaryotes and here are your options option a bacteprenol option b lipid a and option c sterols time starts now time is up Let's move to question number 5. Which of the lipid is not involved in photosynthesis? Which of the lipid is not involved in photosynthesis? Options are here. Option number A, carotenoids. Option B, quinones. Or option C, glycolipids. Time starts now. <laughs> Thank you. 
and time is up now if you have done all the answers post the comment with your name and your college name if you haven't then pause the video go back again solve it and after you post your comment you have to resume your video because now we are going to discuss the answers to those questions let's see the question number one which of the following is a saturated fatty acid this was the first question and this was the option given to you all now fatty acid we discussed yesterday that fatty acid needs to have two important components one a long chain hydrocarbon and two it needs to have a COOH that is carboxylic acid group at one of the end correct we have to find which of this is a saturated fatty acid saturated means what it means you will not have any double bonds in the carbon chain the hydrocarbon chain will be completely saturated it means all the carbon will have completely satisfied with hydrocarbon hydrogens correct let's move to the options if you see the first option you are having here a hydrocarbon chain but there is no coh so this cannot be the correct answer moving on to the arachidic acid you can see here this particular representation you can see this is actually hydrocarbon this is carbon this is a second third fourth fifth these all these are carbons basically we don't represent the hydrogens here the reason is it is understood that there are hydrogens to satisfy the bonds okay and as you can see at this end you are having last carbon here which is having oh and double bond o so this c will be c o o h so this is the c o o h group which we are looking for so this particular arachidic acid is having a long chain hydrocarbon as well as we can see it is having a COOH group on the end hence we can say that this is the correct answer moving on to the option number C this is also having a long chain hydrocarbon and COOH group at one end but have a look here it is having a double bond in its hydrocarbon and whenever there is a double bond there is a possibility of a bent okay so if you see a bent it means it is unsaturated shall we move to the question number two this was your second question which of the lipid is absent in prokaryotes and these were the options we discussed that in complex lipids there were three types one was your neutral lipid second was phospholipid and third was glycolipid over there i said the example of neutral fat is for triglycerides and we discussed over there the triglycerides which is having three fatty acids esterified to a glycerol and phospholipids which is having two fatty acids esterified to glycerol along with the phosphate group and glycolipid which is having two fatty acids esterified to a glycerol along with a sugar molecule correct so can you guess the right answer the right answer is triglyceride because neutral fats are not present in prokaryotes moving on to the next question the lipid responsible for photo protection belongs to which group and these were the options which was given to you photo protection what was that lipid do you remember yes it is carotenoids and carotenoids belong to which group polyisoprenoids why because it is having more than one isoprene units let's move to the next question which of the lipid is present in eukaryotes okay so that was the previous question we were studying absent in prokaryotes and this is present in eukaryotes so these were the options given and the first option is bactoprenol we discussed in the previous video that bactoprenol is involved in the cell wall synthesis the synthesis of peptidoglycan since peptidoglycan is not there in eukaryotes common sense 
bactopranol should not be there correct moving on to lipid a lipid a is present again in the lps layer that is the lipopolysaccharide layer of your bacterial cell wall similarly that is not present in eukaryotes so obviously the correct answer will be sterols yes sterols are present only in eukaryotes they are absent in most of the prokaryotes let's move to the last question which of the lipid is not involved in photosynthesis and these were the options given carotenoids is involved in photo protection as well as it act as a light harvesting compound hence it will be involved in photosynthesis right quinones we discussed that quinones are involved in electron transport chain correct hence quinones again will not be present in i mean will not be involved in photosynthesis moving on to glycolipids glycolipids do not directly play an important role in photosynthesis but they are membrane, membrane of chloroplast which is involved in photosynthesis as well as it is involved in the membrane of bacteria like cyanobacteria and green bacteria which undergo photosynthesis so the correct answer will be quinones because it is not involved in photosynthesis it is involved in electron transport chain i hope you might have enjoyed this questions question answer session and i will be happy to see your answers in the comment section these are the two reference books on the basis of which we have done our topic thanks for watching if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends who are struggling with biochemistry while preparing for their exams see you all in the next video thank you